Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Um, so today I'm going to give you a very tiny demo on how quick it is to bootstrap a Kubernetes cluster with RKERK2. So let me first show you what I'm going to use. So this is a script. It is just three lines with just a timer. I'm uh, um, well, uh, setting permissions so that I can read the cube config file, which will help you to list out and uh, deploy your stuff, right? Uh, deploy your applications. Then this is the uh, environment variable that we can set later or now, but let's set it anyway. Let's make it part of the installation tool, right? So here we go. Uh, first, let's verify that uh, nothing is there. QC, there will get node. Okay, there's nothing. QC, will get R hyphen A. There's nothing, right? So what I'm gonna do here is sudo dash and uh, okay, then start, oops. Okay, there we go. All right, okay, so 65 seconds. QCL get node hyphen W. So node not ready, that's okay. Uh, I just got deployed, so it's getting ready. Let it uh, ready to warm up, right? Okay, it's warming up, warming up. And you can see the extra seconds that it's passed, right? Fifteen seconds, twenty seconds, forty-five seconds. All oh, right, so it's ready now. Okay, so now let's do QCDO get node, QCDO get pod, hyphen A. Right, so that's where uh, you have. So as you can see, container and core DNS it's still creating pods, but you can actually go and deploy your apps uh, right away. So it's uh, it's about like in you know, one one and a half minutes. I would say ninety seconds. Let's take it two minutes. So in two minutes, you have a Kubernetes uh, cluster ready. Uh, to deploy your apps, uh, can it can be for prototyping? It can be for production. You can, uh, and this is an auto scalable, so you can add nodes, uh, take away nodes, uh, as and when you want. So you can add like ten nodes, twenty nodes, hundred nodes, or take them all out, and you can have just just one node, right? So yep, uh, that's all I have. Uh, thank you. Have a good one.